is Alesh. I'm from Slovenia. Uh, Marco from Slovenia. We're cube sensors. Cube sensors are small, beautiful devices that measure everything that can be measured about the indoors, temperature, light, noise, humidity, barometric pressure, and air quality. So everything that influences you as a human being. I studied computer science back in Slovenia, did, did a lot of programming, and then went for an MBA. Well, basically I started coding when my father first brought a computer home in what, like elementary school. Um, and his solution to all my computer problems was, here's the book, read it and read it yourself. I have a 10-year-old daughter uh, back in Slovenia, happily married. I don't have a dog. I just have my, my startup. I'm married to a lawyer, fortunately. <laughs> the idea is that you place one device in each room of your home or office. When you combine these different things that we measure, like noise, like humidity and temperature together, and you correlate it, you get a whole new way of understanding what's going on in the environment. For example, we can tell you when your office is productive environment and when it's not. Air quality is such a big problem that, that even uh, United Nations issued guidelines what, what people should do indoors. For example, even a loud noise environment, which we all worked in, can increase the stress, the physical stress levels of a human being by 40%. And we're simply not aware of that. With cube sensors, we become aware of that and we can do something about it. The TechCrunch Battlefield is one of the best ways to show off your product against everybody else who's doing similar stuff and see how good it is. It's tested with, with users and it's a really innovative way how to manage your indoor environment. We are going to win because we have the best product. Let's get this started. You have six minutes on the clock, starting now. Well, thank you. Uh, my name is Alesh. I'm CEO and co-founder of Cube Sensors. This is Marco, my co-founder and CTO. As humans, we spend 90% of our lives indoors and you have no clue about it. That's why we designed this. These are beautiful small devices that basically measure everything that can be measured about the indoors. You place one cube in each room of your home or office, they start monitoring your, your environment and stream the data to the cloud. I can check this, this information on my app. So let's switch to the app, to the PowerPoint. Um, on the top of the screen, you see some recommendations, which we'll describe a, a bit later. On the bottom, there are four squares representing cubes in, back in my home in Europe. There is a big number in each of them, which is an indoor and health performance index, which is a cumulative index of everything that we measure. If number is above 90, it's great. If it's between 80 or 90, it's OK. If it's below 80, it's suboptimal. Let's dive in and check one of the rooms. We measure six things, represented here by six icons. Is icon, if, if an icon is blue, that means that, a, that the thing is in optimal range. If it's red, it's not. We measure temperature because temperature significantly influences our productivity. We measure air quality because air quality is really a huge problem. But we don't measure just CO2. We measure volatile organic compounds, which means CO2s, smoke, uh, c c cigarette smoke, smells, gases, everything that can harm you. We measure humidity because too humid environment is a perfect breeding ground for molds and fungi. And to dry environment it gives problems to people with respiratory issues. We measure noise because background noise can actually uh, give you physical stress. We measure light because we all know how light how poor lit uh, work environment affects your eyes. And we measure barometric pressure, because fluctuation in barometric pressure can actually give you headache or makes you sleepy. I can always scroll down the, the screen and check all, all of those things in history, the analysis, and everything else. But I don't want to look at my iPhone all the time. So let's look at the cubes bag. They're small, beautiful, and stylish, designed to be to be placed on your, on your uh, nightstand, desk, or conference room. But the real trick is that when I want to check what kind of environment I'm in, I shake it, it analyzes the environment, and it immediately gives me feedback with a glow, either blue or red, whether it's good or bad. 
With our test users, this has been a huge hit because it really gives us a whole new engagement tool with the device. But measuring just one thing like temperature and setting the ranges is not really, really exciting. That's what every thermostat does. What really happens is when we combine all things that we measure together, correlated, look at it from the temporal perspective. We can, for example, tell you when there is a high risk of flu transmission in your office, which directly translates into how many people get sick. We can combine information from your bedroom with your activity monitor and tell you why you slept poorly, not just when you slept poorly. We can tell you when your cellar is in high risk of growing fungi or molds, or when, um, or when your house is healthy or not. More importantly, the, uh, we can tell you why this happens and what, what you should do about it. Cubes are battery powered, rechargeable, and cordless. So they're really, really easy to use. We worked with cube sensors because we believe the quantified space is going to become uh, the dominant category in the Internet of Things. Um, if you imagine on a long run, every room in homes, offices, hospitals, and hotels will become environmentally aware and will be able to adjust itself for a, for, to, to be a more productive or healthy environment. And that's hugely important. There is no way to do that with a wearable. We are offering cubes in sets of two, four, or six for $300, $450, or $600 on our website, cubesensors.com. We've been bootstrapping our company for the past two and a half years, back in Slovenia. We went through research, proto five prototypes, development, and manufacturing. And I'm really excited to announce that we've just started shipping the final product, which we have here, to our first users who pre-order it. And for everybody else, I invite you to go to our website, cubesensor.com, order a pack, and uh, use cubes to have your environment more healthy, more productive, because cube sensors are designed to make you feel better. Thank you. Very good. With 48 seconds to spare. So now what we're going to do is jump into judges' questions. And there are six minutes on the clocks now. Now, Craig, are you ready to see what kind of dirty house you have? I'm more ready to see what kind of dirty facility we have at Dodo Case. Uh, the first thing that I was curious about, first off, I, I love the design. I think you guys did a great job of the, Thank you. the physical unit. You mentioned that you have the ability to predict the likelihood of a flu yep. germ going throughout an office complex. Yep. How, do you, how do you do that? There is a bunch of research uh, on that. If you combine things like air quality, humidity, and temperature over, over, uh, over time, with a certain levels and a bit of magic, we can, with a high, with, with a high li likely likelihood, predict that there is high risk of flu transmission or, or not, and what you should do about it. And it's actually very easy. Okay. And just one more question: Do you do you believe that the average consumer household is the ideal first target audience for this? First target audience are early adopters. Um, so we found from our order, we had a pre-order page, and we had a mixture of people who want to have it in their small offices or households. But the majority are households. Thank you. So I, I did have a question, but before that, um, I just want to say I think these are beautifully done. I like the fact that you have almost the random holes on the on the screens. The industrial design is very well done. Thank you. Um, I am concerned that when I shake it in the studio right now, it's glowing red for all of us. Yeah. And I wonder why. Uh, uh, well, because it's dry air and, and it's the desert. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's Las Vegas. So, yeah. so the question <laughs> that it's I very loud. I'm sorry. So these are yeah. Yeah. So I, I think you did a great job of laying out kind of all the pieces, etc. How did you arrive at the price point that you did? Because it's a pretty fully priced price point when you're talking about, I think you said 300 or 350 for the introductory going up to Basically the five or 600. Yeah, great question. Uh, the rule of thumb, it's 100 per cube. So okay. $100 per room, okay. right? Uh, if you compare that to the wearables, like $100 per person per a wearable, mm -hmm. that's approximately the same price range. And um, the really honest answer is, even though we did a lot of analysis, at the end of the day, just let a, a leap of faith. And from the feedback we have right now, we did a good job on that. Okay. Joel, you took a look at that app. 
what, I was what, on how, it. I'm curious your thoughts on the application. Um, it looked it looked pretty sharp, to be honest with you. Uh, I really liked it. My question is though, I maybe missed it, but is there an API for this for like developers that want to get involved with it? It is. We haven't publicly announced it yet. Okay. We we do offer a private access to p people who are interested, but yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's very cool. I think that's something that a lot of hobbyists will enjoy, something like yeah. this. It's a very it's a very cool package, like everybody said, and I really like the light-up thing. That's a cool detail, so good job on that. Thank you. My question, what's the range on these? This range is roughly three times the range of a Wi-Fi. It uses a protocol called Zigbee, which is an, an, an industrial-grade protocol, um, which allows us to av avoid any kind of interference with the normal Wi-Fi networks uh, and has a way, way more range with it. And all. But even more cooler, if, if it happens that there is a problem with the range, if you really want to have it in, in a large building, just plug one of the cubes through a micro USB into the wall, so it's powered, and it becomes a router. So it starts hopping the signal. So we can actually uh, cover a huge range, a, a huge ba uh, building with, 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 with our cubes. Any other questions, guys? What do, you, what do you think the early adopter is really gonna wrap their hands around? Because you know, in, in our world, you, you have to be able to tell stories about the product, and I think, you know, this is a nice thing to talk about, but as an early adopter, I'm going to want it, that one thing that I'm going to shout to the rooftops. Look how I was able to adapt my life because of this information. Well, I can tell you that my wife now aerates our house based on the data from the cubes, and she doesn't even use the app. She just shakes it. If it's OK, fine. If it's not, she opens up the, the window. And we've seen that particularly that shake to glow feature, it, it's, it, it's way more important than we anticipated in, in, in the beginning. Thanks. So like my Fitbit, it hasn't helped me lose, lose weight yet. Will this make my house cleaner? Uh, well, yeah, we think so. Right. Anything else, guys? Thank you very much. Thank Best you. Best of luck. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.